How's it? And welcome to this week's video blog. Uh, the sun's finally come out in England after about three weeks of wind and rain. Not as bad as in America. Our thoughts go out to them out there. Um, it's lunchtime, and I thought, as it's a nice sunny day, let's have a real old favourite, some burri rolls. So, as you can see, I've got a nice ring of burrabos, which was made fresh this morning. Um, if you guys are interested, you can obviously buy it from our website, www.biltong.co.uk. Um, and all the other ingredients we need are some nice fresh rolls, some French stick, and the braai, which is just burning up now, which we shall put it on to cook in about 10 minutes or so, once the coals are ready. And the other favourite ingredient for burri rolls is Mrs. Ball's chutney, which is almost compulsory. Which once cooked, we'll shove a nice dollop of that in there, along with some onions or some salad, depending on what people fancy for lunch. Okay, this is just a quick breakdown on how we make our burrivos and drivivos. As you can see, we just take whole bits of meat, mince it up, put it into the mixer, add our blend of secret spices, no filler or rusk or anything like that, nothing horrible. We add a little bit of vinegar and some water, depending on whether we're making drivivos or burrivos. So it's a classic recipe. It then goes into the filler. Into the sausage skins, we use uh, collagen skins for our drivivos, which is all beef, or into our uh, pork skins to make burrivos, or we also use beef collagen skins for those who don't want pork. It's then put into the packs, uh, packed up, ready for you guys to receive. And all we do now is just add a label on the back, and that's it. Lekker burrivos and drivivos, just for you. Now, the great thing about the big green egg is that you don't have to wait for the coals to go all grey you know we can put it on here now with the coals glowing nice and bright and orange as long as the temperature is up high and once we shut the lid down it's going to cook this burri absolutely fantastically it's on you can hear it starting to sizzle now the trick to cooking burri is never to prick it. This is our burrivos in particular. Please, all we put inside our burrivos is nice whole meat, chunks of meat, which obviously we mince up, spices, and a touch of water. We don't put any cereal, rusk, no fillers, no loads of extra fat. So really, you just don't want to prick the skins of the burrivos. So the whole thing is that you put it in, you let it start to cook, you want the skin nice and crispy, and you want the insides to stay moist, you know, with a lot of juice, um, and slightly, I like it slightly rare as well. You know, it's freshly made, I know exactly where it's come from, so I can trust eating this as, as you know, a little bit rare. So I'm gonna shut the lid down now, and we're gonna cook it on one side, and then we're gonna flip it once, and cook it the other side, and then it's gonna go straight into our rolls. All ready for classic Burry roll for lunch. I like a little bit of salad in mine, and then I'm going to put the Mrs. Balls chutney in there in a second as well. You can see, I've opened the ring of burrivos up a little bit just so that the heat can get through to the centers as well. When you go to flip it, just close it up, you know, tighten up a bit, and then flip it in one turn and try not to split the burrivos if you can so all the juice juices don't run away. Now, another tip is you know, don't be tempted to turn the burrivos before it's actually ready. Wait until you can see it caramelized underneath so it doesn't stick to the grill. And check out, you know, you can see it starting to bubble inside so you know it's now cooking nicely. And you get ready to flip it and we'll see what it looks like on the other side. Well, I wish we had smell of it in. You could just smell what that burri smells like, it's absolutely fantastic. Now, a great thing with our burri is please don't overdo it. I know some people like well done sausage but they don't trust it. But you know, our meat comes in fresh every week. We make only fresh burrivos. And, um, you know, you can have it a little bit underdone if you like. And so as long as you cook it at a nice high temperature, it will be lacquer and hot inside. I think we're done in you know, three minutes of cooking. Now, that's absolutely perfect. I don't know if you can actually see. 
that's how I like my blue voice. There we go. A fantastic bury roll. You've got to try it at some time and I hope you enjoy it as much as I'm going to.